Hello, my brothers and sisters. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And I am so glad, so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it each and every day. Every day is a new day to always continue to put your faith and trust in Jesus. Today is a new day to always sing new songs to him. Today is a new day to always praise his holy name and to always worship him, to always seek him in this kingdom first. Today is a new day. And say, you know what? I'm going to continue to move forward, even though I don't see any progress. Today is the day I'm going to continue to move forward, even though my situation and my circumstances are still the same. Even though I don't know what, what, what God is guiding me to, I don't know where he's leading me to. But today is the day I'm going to continue to put my trust and my faith in him each and every day. But the main thing to all of that today, my brothers and my sisters, is always praise. Praise is an everyday thing. Praise is not an on and off switch as some of y'all are treating praise as. Some of y'all want to praise when things are going good. Praise. Some of y'all want to praise only on Sundays. Praise is an everyday single thing to do every day. As long as Jesus is still alive, which he's still alive, and he's still on that throne, and he's still performing miracles and wonders each and every day, praise is an everyday thing. Praise is not an on and off switch as some of y'all as treating praise. Some of y'all only want to give Jesus praise when he do something good in your life. Some of y'all want to praise when you ask him for something or you don't need of anything. Praise is an everyday thing because my God is awesome. He is faithful. He is loving. He is merciful. He's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He never changes like we do and he never changes like the weather. So my point is, praise is an everyday thing. Praise should always be in your spirit. Praise should always, always should be in the fruit of your lips each and every day. Praise should always be in your mind. Praise is something you should want to do because who he is and what he has done in every last one of our life. Then he paid the price for every last one of us. Then he down the cross for every last one of us. Then he carried every last one I sent on his back. Yes, he did. So for that reason right there, praise is necessary. Praise is necessary for who he is and what he has done in every last one of our life. For who he is. And what he has done in every last one of our life. Praise, praise, praise is an everyday thing. Make praise a necessary in your life today, my brothers and my sisters. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And today is the day of salvation, my brothers, my sisters. Nobody knows when they time to go. Nobody knows when they time when God is going to call them on a time, something's going to happen. There's a lot of people right now that's laying up in that cemetery right now. Wish they can go back. Wish they can go back and just ask Jesus one question. There's a lot of people right now that's laying up right now in that, in that hospital bed right now. And I see you probably on life support, probably in a coma. Wish they can just go back when things were just okay. And that one thing that they ask Jesus is, they say, Jesus, I don't need a whole day. I don't need a whole hour. I don't need a whole minute. I just need just a spliff of a second. It's something I have to ask you. If you can just breathe life inside of my body, if you can just take me off this life support, if you can just take me out of this coma, if you can take me out of this situation that I'm in, it's something I have to ask you. It's something in my spirit that I know I should have asked you a long time ago. It's something that's been on my mind that I should have made made known a long time ago, but I didn't do it. But right now, I want to ask you something. And the one thing they want to ask Jesus is, this today is the day that I'm asking you, Lord Jesus, to come into my life. And I want you to be my Lord and Savior Christ. That'd be the only thing that the people that's lined up in that cemetery to ask, and the same thing that people that's lined up in our hospital, that's what they ask. But you today, my brothers, my sisters, while you still have a chance, while you still have an opportunity, while you still have life right now, and if you haven't asked that question or made that decision or jumped to that point yet, today is the day. I'm encouraging you right now today to make that happen. Do not wait till tomorrow. Do not wait till next week. Do not wait till next month. Do not wait till next year because tomorrow, next week, next month, next year is not promised to nobody. While you still have a chance right now, today is the day that you today need to ask Jesus to come into your life. And the only thing you got to say, say is, Lord Jesus, today is the day I'm asking you to come into my life. And I want you to be my Lord and Savior Christ. 
And once you boldly confess that today, my brothers, my sisters, you are saved, you are born again, your relationship began with Jesus at that very moment. That's the only thing that Jesus acts out of every last one of his children as a personal relationship. But you, my brothers, you, my sisters, you got to want that relationship just as bad as Jesus wants that relationship with you. Just don't do it because you want something. Just don't do it because you don't need of anything. But you want to do it because you in love, you in love, you in love with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And today's word is coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 9. And we're going to read verses 24 through 25. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 9. And we're going to read verses 24 through 25. And today's word is, are you running to win? Or are you running so Jesus can do it for you? There's a lot of people out there right now are running to win the prize. But it's a lot of people who is running so Jesus can do it for them. That, that means that you will run for a little bit and then stop and you expect Jesus to finish the race for you. It don't work that way. It doesn't work that way. If, it, if you're doing that, this word and this message is clearly for you today. Amen? Amen. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I just can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I just can't thank you enough for our health today. I just can't thank you enough for our strength today. I just can't thank you enough for the, another day that we're able to praise you today, to sing you today, to glorify you today, continue to pour our faith and our trust in you today. I just can't thank you enough for the opening doors today. I just can't thank you enough for our anointing today. I just can't thank you enough for our deliverance today. I just can't thank you enough for our breakthrough today. I just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy today, oh God. I just can't thank you enough for your love. I just can't thank them for your faithfulness. I just can't thank you enough for who you are. I just can't thank them for what you have done. I just can't thank them what you're already doing. I just can't thank how, how you providing. I just can't thank them for your healing. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 That's why I praise you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I seek you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm always putting my faith and my trust in you each and every day when I don't see it away. That's why I can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough because I'm in love with you. I just can't thank you enough because you are protecting me. I just can't thank you enough because I know you're going to provide. I just can't thank you enough because I know you're moving mouth on our behalf today. I just can't thank you enough for who you are. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. I would love for you to turn your Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter 9. And we're going to read verses 24 through 25. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive this word today, Shall I? Amen. Amen. Let's begin. Do you not know that in the race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Everyone who competes in the games go into a strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. See, if you go back, they say they do it to get a crown that will not last reason why some of y'all not mad is because you run for a little bit. You run for a season or two. Then you stop. Then you say, you know what, God? I ran for I ran for a month. Or I ran for five months. Or I ran for eight months. So I'm tired right now. So I'm, not, I'm asking you right now to finish my race right now. Right now, I'm asking you to do the rest that I can't do on my own. No. If you're running for something. If you're running for something, you got to run. You got to run like you mean that you want to run. You got to run like you want what you're asking for, what you're praying for, what you're believing in. You got to run through your turbulence. You got to run through the pain. You got to run through the drought. You got to run through the storm. You got to run when nobody's watching. You got to run when nobody's rooting for you. You got to run when nobody's in the stand that's coming for you. You got to run, 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 run like you want your anointing. You got to run like you want your deliverance. You got to run like you want your healing. You got to run like you want your breakthrough. You got to run like you want your harvest. You got to run like you run like you want the prize. Everything else doesn't matter to you no more. You got to be straight tunnel vision and run. You got to run through the pain. You got to run through the suffering. You got to run through the hurt. You got to run through the backstab. You got to run through everything 
if you want to pray. That's what the word of God said. Only one get to pray because everybody don't want to run through the pain. A lot of people want to run through the turbulence. A lot of people want to run through the storm. A lot of people don't want to run if nobody's rooting for them, nobody's clapping for them. See what I'm saying? Everybody don't want to run. But so everybody wants something from God. Everybody wants their healing. Everybody wants their miracle. Everybody wants their breakthrough. Everybody wants their blessing. But nobody want to run. But some who do run, they run for a little while and say, you know what? I'm supposed to get this blessing. I'm supposed to get this healing. I'm supposed to get this anointing. I'm supposed to get this delivery because I did run. Yeah, you did run, but you stopped running. A real runner run through pain. A real runner run through drought. It run through the storm. It run through the trouble. It run through pain. It run through hurt. It run through setbacks. It run through. It run through all kind of things. It continues to run no matter what. It run through the hurry. It run through because it's thirsty. Run because nobody is standing there cheering him on. Nobody is looking at him. He runs, he runs, he runs, he runs because he or she want that prize. That's what a real runner does. But some of y'all is not a real runner. Some of y'all run for a little bit and you expect Jesus to do the rest. Some of y'all don't run at all and you expect Jesus is to give you everything that you ask for. Well, I got sad news for you today, my brothers, my sisters. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. If you want the prize, you have to run. If you want that husband, you got to run. If you want that wife, you got to run. If you want that job, you got to run. If you want that breakthrough, you got to run. If you want that healing, you got to run. If you want that anointing, you got to run. If you want that deliverance, you have to run. If you want that brand new house, you got to run. You want your, your dream to come to pass, you have to run. You got to run, you got to run, you got to run, you got to run. You have to run. You got to run for it. Don't worry about somebody looking at you. Don't worry about somebody rooting for you. Don't worry about somebody standing clapping on you. You got to run like there's nothing or nobody there. See, everybody's not strong enough to go through that because some people have to have people look at them. Some people have to have people to root them on. Some people have to have people just to watch them every day. But you today, my brothers, you today, my sisters, you don't have to worry about somebody looking at you. You don't have to worry about somebody rooting for you. You don't have to worry about somebody that stands who clapping on you that's cheering you on. You are running because you are running because you are running you run because you want what you're asking for you want because you believe and you trust in God that God is going to provide and God is going to make a way for you so that's why you are going to receive the crown you can't just run for a little bit and stop a runner runs a runner don't stop until you get that prize you can't run for five months I'm straight then stop and take a break you got to continue to run yeah I know you're cramping up right now you still got to continue to run I know that you're tired right now, but you still got to continue to run. I know you don't see anything that's happening right now, but you still got to continue to run. I know that your tongue is still dull, but you still got to continue to run. You still have to continue to run if you want the prize. So what you running for? My point is, in this message today, are you running to get the prize? Or are you running so Jesus can finish it up for you and you still looking for a handout? Which one is going to be? Which one is going to be? The, the, the point, the question is, is it up to you? Are you running to get the prize or are you running so Jesus can finish it up? But that's why the word of God say everyone is not going to last and everybody's not going to last in that race. You might see a hundred people that start a race with you. You're going to see a hundred people that start a race with you. But when it's done and over with, it's going to be less. It's going to be less than five at their finish line. It might be less than three at their finish line. Because why? Because they they so worried about somebody looking at them, rooting them on, but you not. It's a lot of people not rooting on for me. I'm not worried about somebody rooting for me. I'm not worried about somebody to stand clapping for me. I'm not worried about somebody to cheer me on because none of that matters. Because right now, the only thing I'm doing is running and I have my faith and I'm trusting in God that I know I'm going to finish this race. Yes, right now, I'm tired. Yeah, right now, I'm cramping up. But right now, I'm running through that pain. I run through that turbulence. I run through season after season after season, even though my situation is still the same at the season after season after season. I haven't seen any progress right now. My situation, my circumstance is still the same, but in the Midst of all of that, I am still running. I am still running. Because I know I'm going to receive that crown. One way or another, I'm not stopping. Until Jesus say, okay, son, it's time for you to stop. Until he tell me to stop, I'm not stopping. I'm going to continue to run like I'm Forrest Gump each and every day. And today, my message is for somebody today. Are you running to win the race? 
or you running so Jesus can finish for you. Because Jesus is not going to finish the race for you. He don't done his race. He don't finish his. He don't done his part. So you think he finna go back and do your part when he already done, done his part? He's not going to do that. It's up to you. It's up to you if you really, really want what you're asking for or what you're trusting in or what you're believing in. He already knows who won the night. He already know. That's why I say some of you are not going to last. And some of you won't. But the ones who still running right now through the pain, through the hurt, through the setbacks, through the turbulence, through the storm, through your, through those, your circumstance, your situation, you will receive that crown of victory. I believe it right now in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Glory! Hallelujah. Amen. And if this word and this message for you today, I want you to give Jesus the thanks right now. I want you to give him the praise right now. I want you to give him the glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And before I close, I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to guide us, direct us, use us, so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying the simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always continue to seek him, always continue to glorify him, always continue to praise and worship him, and always put Jesus in first place. This is Minister LT. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' mighty holy name. Continue to run. In Jesus' name. Amen.